On today's episode of SNR Motoring, we do stuff to the Conquest. What's going on, everybody? So, today, we're going to take a little break from the motor and we're going to attempt to uh, finish up this wire tuck. And just like everything else we do, we've never done anything like this before. So, please remind us that and tell us that we're doing it wrong. Make it fun. Make it fun. Yeah, so we're going to, like I said in the other, when I started the wire tuck, um, I'm following a thread that I, that was on StarQuestClub.com posted by StarQuest Joe, the one and only. Um, so I'll post a link in the description for that. Uh, it's pretty basic. All you do is pull the, the wire harness out of this hole here. And then you pull it out of this hole and then you just mount everything right here inside the fender. I love how technical you are. Yeah, I try to be. You do. It's a wonder I didn't get that job as the technical writer. <laughs> For a certain speed shop. <laughs> that will be nameless. <laughs> that will probably see this video because they watched our other ones. They won't. So yeah, we're gonna get started on that so we can get that done. The faster we get that done faster this goes back in. Hopefully in our next video, maybe we'll be getting that back in, but it might be a couple videos from now because we're slow. Okay. All right, so we got the, the relay panel for the headlights and stuff mounted right here. Just use these two existing holes to mount it up. Uh, so I'm gonna plug up, we're gonna do like the, you know, the process of elimination. Gonna plug up as we go. So we don't get extremely confused when we're doing this. So. All later? Yeah. From what I can see on the the post, that um, he just reused a lot of the existing factory uh, holes and everything. So for for this guy, it's got these two little tabs on the back. 
So what I'm thinking is we're just gonna reuse this hole here and push those tab, one of those tabs through it. Chrysler wanted you to do a wire tuck. <laughs> so. Now we plug up all these. These are all plugged. It's D's. D's right. Right day? Oh, they're not gonna reach. Which harness is it? That one. He's got his turn tomorrow. shorts out so for the passenger side harness um, in his write-up he took off the passenger side fender and did kind of the same thing routed the wire harness in here but in order for us to do that you got to move the car out and everything and frankly I don't feel like doing that right now so we're probably gonna take the passenger side harness and route it up underneath um, the fender and then route it underneath here and then down into here over to this area. That's something I can redo later once the car's running and everything like that. A few moments later. All right, so under much deliberation between me and Randall, we have come to the conclusion that we are not prepared to finish <laughs> to finish the wire tuck today because you know with our time limit and everything we'd have to push the car out push it back in at an angle take the front bumper off take the passenger side fender off and we just don't have enough time to do that now if we would have started with that we might have but also we're gonna get he's got a special little doohickey drill bit that will cut threads when it drills in so yeah basically we're gonna we'll continue on the wire tuck next weekend but for now we're gonna clean up some more parts and get them on the block also with ARP head studs I found this out after the fact because you know I don't do any type of research or anything like that but with ARP head studs the factory valve cover will not fit. You have to, there's a baffle in the back here that you have to modify. Also, on mine, for some reason, it's hitting this little extension. I don't know what you would call that. I guess it's a baffle, I don't know. But I'm gonna have to cut that so that it, it fits on the, um, the head properly. So yeah, we're gonna, I know I said at the beginning that we weren't going to do anything with the motor today, but guess what? We are. Safety first. Those are. I should wear these just to wear them. Having fun cleaning. So I cut out that, I cut out a little notch there. And I'm gonna have to repaint the valve cover and everything again, but fits on there perfectly now. So yeah, 
If you're using ARP head studs, don't. Just use the factory head bolts, so you don't have to modify. I'm just kidding. If you're using the studs, I had to cut that right there, and then there's a back baffle that I took out, and uh, yeah, it works pretty good now. I wonder if that had anything to do with your uh, rockers. What do you mean? You changed over the mechanical ones. No, I think it's just the... The studs? The studs. The big studs now. Mm. Waterproof. Do you want to get wet? No. Okay. Let's go hang out with Jerry. Old drunk Jerry. May work out. What? Jerry can hear you. Have have oh yeah, our our subscribers have seen the light of day when we were painting the engine bay. And moving. But this it. Is, this is what the outside looks like, everybody. <laughs> oh you do come. <laughs> Turbo. So, I kind of explained what size turbo I was going with in one of the super videos, but this is an upgraded, is that a big 16? Yeah, it's a big 16G wheel. But the only problem with that is I was going to try to use the compressor housing that came with the 16G. So if I use that, it fits on there nicely, but as you can see the wastegate bracket is not going to work. So I'm either going to have to machine the TDO5 housing or if anybody knows of a a wastegate bracket look at that I could use with this. You know, let us know. Almost dropped it. Yeah. I'll just use Dremel. You could, yeah. He said it. I could do it. Use a Dremel. I think you need a bigger turbo. Oh, yeah, I do, but if we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll buy a bigger turbo. Buy when? Huh? Buy when? I'll just buy one. Just in general? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look. Stuff works pretty good, huh? <laughs> Little aircraft paint remover. Is it broken? No, it's paint. Oh, is that or is it grass? Oh, it's paint. It's paint, yeah. Stand back. Yeah. Right. Hit it with uh, the water hose and it's peeled off. Yeah. Oh, he's doing that. Got a coat of paint on. Yeah. Here at SNR Motoring, we have top of the line 
state-of-the-art painting facilities <laughs> that we paint all of our parts after they've been thoroughly checked and cleaned. it up for today uh, didn't really get as much accomplished as would have liked to but you know it happens baby steps baby steps baby steps baby steps turn into big steps next time we're gonna we're gonna move the car out and angle it inside the garage to where we can get the front bumper and the passenger side fender off so we can to finish up the StarQuest Joe wire tuck. Uh, but we did get a lot of the brackets and stuff painted for the, that attached to the block. Um, I got the gasket on the way for the top hat, so once that shows up, we can put the, finish up the intake manifold. And I fixed the valve cover so that it properly sits on there. So being that we are a smaller channel and a few other bigger channels have helped us out greatly. We're going to try to return the favor and spread the love around to some smaller channels. So we're going to do a weekly shout out to channels that we enjoy watching and think that they are going to grow into bigger, better channels. That's right. a lot of channels. 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 Yeah, channels. channels. So, this week, we're giving a huge shout out. Why did I say huge? So this week, huge. we're... Huge. 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 Uh, all right. Let's stay in the video. Okay, cool. So this week, we're gonna shout out Boost Rodeo Garage. I am a little biased. Yeah because he has a pretty sweet Supra that he's working on, and also a Rally Corolla. Rally Corolla? Rally Corolla, Rally Corolla, yeah. It works. Yeah, that Good does. Point. All right, so head on over and check out his videos. They're they're good quality, good sound, good picture. All right, yeah, great they're, videos. They're really, really good quality. Uh, we'll put a link in the description for him, or and hit that thing up there. The ceiling. Oh, the, the thing that pops up in the video, the card. I was like, check out his channel. I don't remember checking it up right now. Well, look up there. There. So last video, we did a little uh, t-shirt contest. If you guessed the, the horsepower for when I first dynoed this car, um, you get a free SNR motoring t-shirt. So, the winner is, drum roll. So yeah, send us an email at snrmotoring.com. No, that's our website. Send us an email at snrmotoring at gmail.com and let us know uh, what size shirt you wear and where to send it and we'll get it out to you. Well, I mean, you gotta tell them what was the horsepower. Oh yeah. And was... the torque. So I got, let's see, it was, 159.7 horsepower and well the torque didn't matter but I'll tell you the torque anyway. Oh, there's a video of my seat. Uh, yeah. So it was 159.7 horsepower and 202.9 pounds of torque. Which was good enough to destroy Plymouth Prowlers. Yeah. Um, Looking at those numbers made me think that uh, there's something c 
could have been wrong with my car because everyone was saying like 170, 180. And I was like, I, I wish. <laughs> it only made 159. I mean, it could have been the dyno. The dyno could have been reading a little, little bit lower. Yeah, I don't too. know what kind of dyno you had. If you want a shirt like this one, then go to snrmotoring.com, get your own, or a hat. They, or come, in, they come in stereo too, so. Or Great. Supra. Or, yeah. Yeah. or, yeah, we got Super shirts too. No Mark IV and no Jay-Z. And as always, we thank you for watching our videos. See you next time. Bye. See you. Keep on motoring. <laughs>